Hey guys. So on today's video, we're just going to talk to you about some of the minimalist things that we do to save money while on the road. Uh, one was we just took a bath in a stream, which saves a lot of money on hotels and uh, all that stuff. Yep. Uh, the water's cold, but mm -hmm. it's it does the trick. So cold but refreshing. As long as you find some sun, you, it, you dry off pretty quick. Um, and then we just have one bottle of shampoo. That's the organic shampoo, which works really well. And we use that to, we also use that to do our dishes and our uh, clothes. So yep. it's uh, everything we use, we try to make sure that we can use it for multiple things so then we don't have, take up space in the car. So that was one major thing. Yep. Uh... So yeah, so we're just going to talk about a couple of the other things we do to make life on the road possible because as most of you that have been watching us know, we uh, we do everything on a pretty tight budget to make it work. Um, so yeah, bathing in streams, I mean we're not staying in hotels so we got to find special spots to take a bath and we've come across some pretty cool gems. This is pretty sweet in here, we're down in a canyon and uh, on our own little private bathing spot and, and like Ram said, the water is... A little shockingly cold when you first get in, but now we're fresh and I feel super clean. Yeah. Um, we also, and we'll talk about the details of how we do some of these things in other videos, but we also filter water. So we have several of these bottles, these platypus um, collapsible bottles, and we do have emergency gallons in the car as well for water that we still haven't even tapped into. Um, so yes. That's, that's just in case we absolutely need water because we have the dogs too and uh, we need to make sure we have water. But any any time we find water, we're filtering, we're yeah. filling up, because uh, we know how important water is. Yeah, we never pay for it, so we never pay for ice either, so we get food that doesn't have to be uh, frozen or anything, <clears throat> or we eat it right away. Uh, you just make sure, like, when you're in the cities, you fill up at, like, Walmart or any, uh, any store with a water fountain. Park, sometimes uh, you can find water there, and yeah, yep. you just, just always stay filled just up. Just take advantage wherever you are. It's It's not really been hard. Um, to keep filled up on water, so that's the good thing. Um, but yeah, it's obviously super important. Yeah. And yeah, then we have another video that we talk about how this all works, but we use a water filter. So we just keep it in this little bag, and we have a little Sawyer Mini that we use. And like I said, we have another video where we talk about how this works. But there it is, it's super small. Right? So we can take this anywhere with us, down to the water quick, in the backpack, whatever. So those are those are great. Yep. So I would definitely recommend one of those if you're living on the road, um, doing a lot of travel, being in nature a lot. And that's the other thing. I mean, we're it's being cheap because we kind of have to to live this way. Um, but it's also a lot of the things are also very environmentally conscious as well. I mean, we're not, I mean, we don't buy water bottles, um, so we're avoiding that. Uh, while we live on the road too so they kind of go hand in hand um so let's see the other main thing is we we never pay for camping yeah. uh that's obviously a main thing if most people stay in hotels that's going to be at least 100 bucks a night let alone the stress of having to find one that's available in the areas that we're in uh yep. so we spend pretty much 90 percent of our time in forest land or on forest roads um you could pretty much uh, have dispersed camping anywhere so you don't have to pay for it and that's pretty much how we get away from the cities and the crowds so nobody usually comes up here too much and this is how you kind of find these uh, these nice water spots to yourself that you usually don't hear traffic at all yep. so you don't have to pay for it you get free free water and most mm -hmm. of the time you get free berries and fruit whatever else is oh, growing yeah. around the area we just found a whole bunch of blackberries raspberries up the road at our last spot so we picked there so that was they were delicious. saved us a bunch of money and yeah, the dog that's... the dogs eat them too so they're good yeah a certain level of foraging is also a part of our lifestyle at this point um we'd actually like to do even more than we do at this point but it's a matter of finding the sources um, berries have been fairly easy yeah um, but there's been a few other things too so. yeah they seem to grow pretty well in the damaged areas where the forest roads are being uh made so when they plow through to make the road it, it gets stirred over. up. The uh, berries like to grow in dispersed areas, or not dispersed, yeah. the yeah, destructed disturbed areas. areas basically, so yeah. they grow really good along the road, so you really don't have to uh, work too hard to get them. Strawberries and raspberries, and yeah, we've, we've had good luck there. Yeah. Um, 
and like I said, a few other things too. Um, if you, I mean, depending on what you like, there's so many other things. I'd, I'd get a foraging book and mushrooms and other beans and things like that that you can find. So. Yep. Pretty cool. Dandelion leaves and salads. Yeah. So. <laughs> a lot of things that we spray for that we try to kill are the things that you can eat for free. So yeah. it works out pretty well. <laughs> you just got to get out of the cities in order to eat them. Yeah. So that's actually a really good point that we've, we've kind of said, but not maybe didn't emphasize is that we really don't spend a lot of time in cities. Um, so I don't know how other people are living on the road, but for us, it's all about being in nature more and reconnecting. Um, and, and so we'll go to the city sometimes maybe to resupply on certain things. And, and you know, maybe we need to, I mean, to upload the content for you guys. we got to a lot of times go into the city for that. Yep. Um, other than that, we're back out and you know sometimes as far away as as towns and cities as we can get yeah yeah when we go to cities we make sure we we use our time wisely and pretty much just go to the store and restock get all the foods that we need to uh pretty much last at least a week between us and the dogs and then when we're at the stores you can get like they have the paper towels the the uh like sugar packets and ketchup packets if you're at like a oh, restaurant yeah. for free they yeah. give those out so you don't really have to buy any of that and that lasts forever yeah. So just little things like that that kind of add up to uh, make your meals better, but you yep. don't really have to pay for. Yeah, so if you're eating something and you need, you know, mustard or, like he said, a sugar packet or something. I mean, we don't use a lot of that stuff anyway, but it's nice to have it um, just to add to a few meals, and there's no need to, to pay for it. I mean, we might go into the city, and if we're spending a few days, then our splurging would be maybe to get a burger or something, yeah. you know, fun like that. And, that, and then you go in and you stock up on things like you said, like yep. sugar. And you get some napkins, so then you can always use those yep. on the road too. Um, Whatever. And then also most of our meals consist of kind of the same basic foods. So we can just stock up on bulk things and make it a little cheaper like rice and beans. Yeah. And uh, things like that that the dogs can eat as well because pretty much we make one big meal and then we all eat from it. And then we yeah. don't have leftovers, which is good. And then they're full and we're full with the... So then we don't really have to uh, have stuff, like I said, that has to be a refrigerator or anything like that. We get carrots yeah. and celery and cucumbers or something like that, and they'll pretty much eat it in a day, but just that'd try be, to... That'd be something we'd grab, again, like on the city day, get a couple of, uh, or a, a bunch of fresh stuff, and then yeah. you have it for a day or two. And then after a day or two, then obviously it's not fresh anymore. Yep. Um, we don't do, like, cooler and buy ice and all that stuff. It's just not really worth it. Um so yeah we'll get some fresh stuff and other than that we carry around a lot of dry food so that would that would be another big tip if you're yeah. going to live on the road um just decide what works for you but yeah the rice we pretty much always have rice um noodles potatoes and Beans. and yeah carrots do last for a while so that's a nice addition to yeah. any meal i mean the rice dishes uh, salads whatever um, yeah, we, we have do some have a lot of beans. Dehydrated, like vegetable. Uh, dehydrated food, yeah. So we have really some good. fruits and vegetables. Um, that's great. You add that to the meals. Um, so I mean, it's very tasty. We do have a lot of seasonings too, just to kind of um, make the food tasty as well. And it's been great. We love the meals. So. Yep. Uh, it's been going good. Yeah. So so yeah, that's food, water, and kind of shelter or a place to sleep. Yeah. We always we carry around our tent. So, we have the choice of either tent or our vehicle, which we built the bed in the back. You can watch a video on that, too, uh, to see how we did it in our Ford Escape. Um, but that's two great options for sleeping arrangements. So, there's, like, the, the three main things in life, right? Yeah. Food, water, shelter. There's, uh, a, there's a lot of places you can sleep if you're, if you're stuck in a city. Mo last year, we seemed to do a lot of uh, rest stops and stuff, but this year, we're... Walmart, pretty much any place that's 24 hours, doesn't really mind if you uh, sleep in their parking lot. Yeah. So if you're stuck in a city, that's usually your best choice. Yep. But because uh, most of the time, we're if we're in the city, we're kind of make it worth it and stay there a little late, and we don't really have time to make it out to a forest road. So we uh, yeah. make the most of it there. And sometimes, yeah, you can't start the forest roads too late because uh, you never know what they're going to mount to. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. We've had plenty of roads that are washed out, and we're way in, and we have to turn around and go back, and yeah, yeah so <laughs> yeah. But it's a, it that's part of the adventure, so yep, it's the way to do it. Yeah, I mean, if I don't know how uh, how anyone else would do it, but if you want to live on the road and and you're on a cheap budget, I mean, to me, this is about the only way to do it. Um, 
So. Yeah, pretty much mm -hmm. the main thing is if you if you want to do it the way we're doing it is you pretty much have to get rid of the stuff and get used to not having yep. the stuff, which That's you get this instead of the yeah. stuff. It's a good trade. So you got to get rid of the makeup and the jewelry and all the fancy clothes because I fit all my clothes in a backpack and Too she fit gadgets. all her clothes in the backpack. So you just got to be really comfortable with each other too because if you're not good with each other you will find out right away yep <laughs> so uh it's good to find a good partner that wants to do the same exact thing you're yeah. doing um which makes it really simple because then it doesn't really matter what you look like or smell like or anything they're just like yeah. they're along with the ride with you so it's just the just the little things especially it's like the coffee if you're getting coffee every morning that adds up that's whatever five bucks yeah. a day and the energy drinks and cigarettes and All just little addictive things that you you can't really do while you're living on the road yeah, so it adds possible. up a lot and pretty much when you look at it you could you can live on a little little amount when you're doing it this way so yeah. it uh you can either live live uh, free a lot longer or you can work a lot longer so and, and have stuff yeah. yeah so yeah in terms of stuff we really don't have i mean we have a few things like to make the video and this is just on the little iphone um we have a camera um we really just have the necessities with us yep. you know, food and water and uh, we do have some books that's just something we do when we're sitting by lakeside just relaxing um and those are easy we can go to the thrift store buy one for 50 cents trade one out and that doesn't really cost us much uh, and then we get to learn all kinds of cool stuff while we read um so that's kind of a i mean that's a part of it too uh cheap hobbies so if you're going to do this you really have to think about what you're going to do for fun yeah. and how that's actually going to be reasonable and affordable we don't yeah. we don't do things like we don't go out we're not getting beer uh all the time renting and ATVs. we're not going to amusement parks we're not renting yeah uh atvs yeah. and vehicles for adventuring or you, whatever you um, you actually have to love nature you can't just uh yeah i guess pretend to because yesterday we just sat down here and we were reading about lichens and mosses and ferns and mm -hmm. we're literally sitting right next to them learning about them which was, was cool. amazing yeah. and you get to learn how long they've been here and what they're good for and just little things like that so it yeah. uh it makes you appreciate everything a lot more when you actually know what's going on in the areas that you're in yep so uh we've been reading everywhere that we've been going trying to learn pretty much as much as we can at the areas that we're learning about or yeah like we're just read about crater lake so we'll be there next so we'll, there. we'll know everything that's Yep, we learned what the, the history and the geologic history of Crater Lake, and uh, yeah, and then we go there, and um, like Ram said, it gives you a greater appreciation for the area and all the things you're seeing, and, and that's kind of a part of this lifestyle, too. I mean, this is, it's physically better and mentally better. We feel great living this way, and that's why we do it, so. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, there's a there's a, a there's yeah. a few tips there. Uh, we'll probably make another video soon and. Yep, and there's more content we'll, on the website that talks about all the different things and the and the way we live and just bullet point lists of, of all the things that we do. But that's pretty yep. much minimalism yeah. and life on the road in a nutshell. The dogs have been loving it too. They've been. Oh yeah. They're worn they're out worn from out. swimming all day, so they're happy dogs. <laughs> yep. But uh, until next time, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>